Hello and welcome to chapter 30 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Right, we had stopped while working with the trolley. Next thing we were going to do was, uh, once we log in with our user, having a look at the purchases we had done so far. Um, this is another one. Choose, find... Let's log in the system. As usually, uh, dot at gmail.com and xxx is the one we've got right here we have by now trolley modify our data and log out in the trolley we're having a mistake all the time because uh, right now my trolley is empty so uh, let's try and make this message look more more elegant make it look like um, in this moment your trolley is empty or please choose your products whatever <coughs> So what page is this? It's trolley list. We will open trolley list. Let's look for it here. As you can see, every time we've got more and more files here. Let's open trolley list, and there uh, what we did was making a query, selecting from the trolley table where the user is searched and the finished transaction equals zero. Right. Finished transaction equals zero. I, I remind you that meant that uh, that it was active in my trolley in that moment. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's see. Here we have, uh, we go here and it says repeat region, etc, etc. There's something I'm not sure we have done so far and it's uh, obtaining a different message when that query is empty, okay? It's very simple. We will select all those things we don't want to turn out when the trolley is empty, which will be all these things here, okay? I mean, uh, let's do something. We select all these until, until, for example, until the table begins, probably, here. We select all that and in behaviors we choose show region if the record set is not empty. And now it will ask us uh, what record set are you talking about because I can have several of them in the same page. In this case it will be data trolley which is the only one I've got here. I accept and the only thing it has done is adding this line here and the closing line below, this one in orange. That goes as follows. If the total number of rows of this query I've just done is bigger than zero, then you show this, okay? So far we had this alright. Now the next thing we've got to do 